We will continue to take real action to fight systemic racism. Where he said that, um, you know, they would continue to take action on anti-black racism. I actually don't know what he's talking about. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau is being slammed for marking the one year anniversary of George Floyd's murder with the commitment that the Liberal government will continue standing up for marginalized communities when he's done nothing, essentially nothing, so far. Now we'll get to the criticisms from a Black Lives Matter activist as well as a professor at the University of Toronto in a minute here. First, I want to remind you of some of the Canadian stories I've covered over the past year, and this is by no means the extent of what's been going on, but it gives you an example of why there is a lot of anger. This from June 22nd of last year, cops break in, kill elderly man during wellness check. And again, you can look up any of these titles on my channel. You'll find these videos or look it up on on Twitter. Cop steps on woman's head during wellness check. Cops respond to woman's wellness check with brute force. Again, these are all in Canada. Cops slam handcuffed or cop slams handcuffed woman's head into the ground. And, uh... Police bring 23 cruisers to evict single dad. So this was the most recent one. Now, let me show you what uh, Justin Trudeau said on Tuesday to mark the one-year anniversary of George Floyd's murder. Today, I also want to take a moment to mark the first anniversary of the death of George Floyd in Floyd in Minneapolis, United States. We all remember the horrible images of that murder that scandalized and changed the world. And it was a reminder that there are still too many people living with anti-black racism and injustice, including here in Canada. Last summer, Canadians and especially young people marched to demand change. From economic empowerment through the Black Entrepreneurship Program to proposing to remove ineffective mandatory minimums from the criminal code to historic investments in community organizations, our government is working with Black communities across the country to make sure nobody is left behind. We will continue to take real action to fight systemic racism and create more opportunities for black Canadians and for everyone. All right, so I'll get to the response here from a Black Lives Matter activist and a professor in a minute here. First, just to address what Trudeau said here. So he brings up the one year anniversary of George Floyd's murder, which is a a policing issue. So he then transitions into discussing what his government is doing. Okay, what is his government doing to address uh, policing that systemically uh, is disproportionately impacting marginalized communities? Well, he is investing in economic empowerment, proposing an end to mandatory minimums, investments in organizations. None of this gets to the heart of the issue, the systemic racism in policing. None of this addresses that. So... Here you're going to see now, and before I get to the next clip, let me just show you what what Trudeau is all about. Symbolism. Empty rhetoric. A year ago, Justin Trudeau takes a knee at Black Lives Matter demonstration on Parliament Hill. Oh, how, what a wonderful guy taking a knee. He's right there kneeling in solidarity with the black community. There is nothing behind this. Pure symbolism. This has been, this is a perfect example of what Justin Trudeau has been during his entire time as prime minister. Now let me get to the next clip where you're going to see uh, Sandy Hudson, a Black Lives Matter activist, as well as um, a professor at University of Toronto, Akwazi Owusu Bempa. Just hearing uh, Justin Trudeau's comments there where he said that, um, you know, they would continue to take action on anti-Black racism. I actually don't know what he's talking about. And it makes me so frustrated to hear that after doing so much in the last year to speak uh, as Dr. Ogusu Bempa just said um, about all of these issues and just reading today um, the first comment made by the girl who recorded the video and how much it affected her and how justice will always allied her, George Floyd and his family, Regis Korczynski Paquette and their family, Clive Mensa and his family and all of the other names. And it just makes me so <laughs> enraged to hear Justin Trudeau make these empty statements because he thinks that he can get away with it when they haven't done anything to try to address anti-Black racism after 
a summer of over 200 rallies and protests across the country, not a single measure was in the budget to try to deal with some of the issues in policing affecting Black Canadians and Indigenous Canadians and people with mental health crises and so many people who live in poverty. And I just, I'm really enraged uh, right now. I think importantly to Sandy's point with respect to meaningful change in the policing realm, we have seen uh, attention to We've seen promises. We haven't seen any action yet on the economic empowerment piece, which I think is very important. We need to recognize that uh, when, when black people are confronted by the police, when we see the statistics demonstrated that black people are overrepresented in everything from stop and search through to the, the use of lethal force and, and police homicides, that that's not simply a policing problem, that that's a societal problem. Nevertheless, we could see meaningful change with respect to increased accountability within the realm of policing. We need to see, and, and, and we've had these discussions before, about taking many of the tasks the police are doing uh, at the moment away from them and with the funds uh, associated with that going to other areas of our society. But we need to understand, I think, in a very real way, and I think Canadians need to understand, Torontonians need to understand, that this is not simply a policing problem, that this is a societal problem that is rooted in structural anti-Black racism. The, the solutions are to do things like why taking the responsibility away from the police of harassing uh, people who are homeless, stop harassing people who uh, don't have homes at all, right. stop criminalizing people who live in particular areas, defund the police, take them out of our schools. These sorts of measures are institutional measures that make systemic change on the ground. Okay. This is what we need. And the government has not done a single thing uh, to try to address those systemic realities that uh, policing uh, how policing impact black communities. So just fantastic commentary here from both Sandy Hudson and uh, Dr. Oisu uh, Bempa, especially uh, the issue of, of the reallocation of police funds. So you can call it defund the police, call it reallocating police funds, essentially meaning moving police funds, moving money that goes to the police normally, move that away and put it into other areas for example, investing into mental health, investing into uh, uh, homes for the homeless, putting that those resources pretty much anywhere else, as we have seen again and again, as some of the examples I've showed you, uh, showed you earlier on in this video, how the police often respond to um, to calls of of mental health uh, crises or or other issues that are involving marginalized communities. So this is this is the the clear and obvious direction that. The Trudeau government should be going, but of course they've completely avoided the issue, uh, except for, we'll get to a, a comment in a minute here, what Trudeau said a, a year ago. But first I want to share this tweet from uh, Sandy Hudson. After her appearance, she tweeted out, It is not effing hard to say, quote, we're defunding the police and decriminalizing these crimes, demilitarizing in these ways, funding anti-poverty and housing in this way, supporting this collection of data, expunging these records, creating this new mental health emergency service. So, exactly. These are all various specific ways the Trudeau government could be, um, the various avenues they could be going down to address the systemic root of this problem. Now, let me share just this, <laughs> this one time Trudeau uh, answered the defund the police question. So this was a year ago, after uh, George Floyd's murder. When pressed about the possibility of defunding the police at the time, Trudeau did not rule it out. Quote, I think there are many different paths toward making a better country. We need to explore the range of them, he said at the time. Since then, however, Trudeau has not signaled any interest in pursuing the calls to defund the police. While the government's thrown speech in the fall directly addressed plans to tackle anti-black racism and discrimination, it did not mention the possibility of defunding the police. So this is, <laughs> this is quintessential Justin Trudeau discussing, oh... Yes, yeah, we will definitely look at the range of issues, the range of ways to address this issue. And then, of course, never actually address it uh, directly, completely avoid the question and never bring it up again. So it's it's all just empty rhetoric from Justin Trudeau as it has been since he became prime minister.